Hi everybody, welcome to the video. This is Parker from testprepchampions.com and I want to do a problem of the day today that deals with percents in GED math. So we're going to go over an example and this problem comes right out of my 50 free practice problem guide. You can get that. I'll put a link down below. And so the way that I teach percents is using a formula. The formula is is over of equals percent over 100. And now this is not the only formula you can use for the GED percent problems, but I think that is the most easiest for students to understand. So I'm going to show you how I would do this problem using this formula. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to define all of the terms in the formula. So here's what I mean by that. So the question says, what is 60% of 250? So here's our percent, and we see that the number 60 comes right before the percent. Okay, so that's a dead giveaway that we're going to plug 60 into the formula for percent. And also the question says, what is 60% of 250? So the word of comes before 250 here. Okay, so that is a giveaway that we're going to plug 250 into the equation for of. And now the question is asking us about the is. So it says, what is 60% of 250? So it's asking us about the is term. Okay, so we don't know what that is. So for right now, let's make is the variable. So is is going to equal x. And so now using some basic math, we can plug these terms right into our equation. So is, like I said, that's going to be just x for right now since that's a variable. So if we write this over here, we put an x in for is. And for of, we're going to put in 250. Okay, and we're going to set this equal to 60 divided by 100. And now all we have to do is just solve this equation for x. So there's, there's some ways that you can simplify this. For example, you can take a zero out of the top term and the bottom term, you'd be left with six over 10. And you could simplify that down if you want to. You could take a two out of the six and a two out of the 10. And so that's going to give you three over five. Okay, but for the sake of time, I think it's easiest just to throw this in the calculator here. So three divided by five in the calculator that's going to give us 0.6. So let me rewrite this whole thing down here. So I'm, I'm making an arrow to show that I'm rewriting this. So we now have x over 250, and that's equal to 0.6. And again, you're gonna have a calculator on the GED test for most of the questions, so I encourage you to use that as much as possible. It's gonna help you get the answer faster. So now, how do we get the x by itself? Well, what we want to do is we want to do the inverse or the opposite operation, or the reciprocal operation, multiple words for the same thing. So we see that x is divided by 250. So if we want to get rid of, if we want to get the x by itself on this side, we've got to do the opposite operation, okay, or the reciprocal operation, whichever word you want to use. So we're going to multiply by 250, and that's 250, it might not look like it, but we're going to multiply by 250 on this side of the equation, and we've got 0.6 over here, so what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we're going to take our 0.6, and we're going to multiply that by 250. So let's do 0.6. I don't really want to put an x in here, because we've already got that x as a variable, so let's not get confused. Let's just use parentheses, so I'll make that a dot. And so we've got 0.6 times 250. All right, and so I'm gonna put that in the calculator here, and that gives us 150. So we found that x equals 150, and that's gonna be our answer, which is answer choice C. So hopefully that makes sense to you, and you can use this formula for any percent problem, you just have to change it, like it might change it based off of what the question's asking, but the basics will always be the same. And again, this is a problem out of my GED Math Champions Guide, this is a 50 problem free sample. This is the second problem in that free sample. I'll put a link to that down below. You can check that out for more. And please consider subscribing. If you like this video, you'll get more problem of the day videos and more GED videos I make to help you with your test taking. So thank you so much for your time.